Good morning, guys. It is September 2nd, 2022. We're here in Orlando, staying at Cabana Bay for Halloween Horror Nights. 31 opening night. It is going to be an amazing night. We're hanging out with so many people. I, If you've been following me on Twitter... I have been posting literally every day about just how excited I am for Horror Nights. It's opening night. We got to celebrate. We got to have fun. And I got to share my experience and first reaction with you guys throughout the entire event, obviously. Uh, everyone here in Cabana Bay just kind of left me. They all either went to get ready to go scare act tonight or go to the park early. I'm like, I'm going to be out till 3 a.m. I am resting. So we're going to get ready. We're going to get prepared. And then we're going to head to the park for staying and screaming a bit. So... We'll see you guys there. All right, so we're walking over now here in Cabana Bay. They have a cool photo op with some of the Universal Monsters. So we're gonna go check that out real quick and see what that's all about. Opened like just now, or opens in five minutes. Let's go see. Here we go. Let's go see what this is all about. Here we are. This looks sick as hell. A lot in here. So they have different zones themed to each of the main characters in the Legends house. So we have the mummy here, we got Dracula down there, and we got the Wolfman right here. This looks really good. I think the Stranger Things one looked better a couple years ago, but this still looks really, really good. Yeah, just a cute little thing. You got some photo ops all around here, all throughout there. And then you just walk out over here. Pretty cool. So the monsters thing, that was pretty cool. Like I said, it probably wasn't good the Stranger Things one, but it was still really cool. See, so yeah, I love the classic monsters, so anything based on them is great. We're um, gonna have a quick lunch break. I'm like proud of myself for eating like healthy. Good for me. So yeah, we're gonna eat this, and then we're gonna relax a bit more, and then head to the park right after. Made it through security, walking it down to City Walk, and head to studios. Let's go. This sign is still gone. Don't know why, but whatever. Hopefully they'll fix it soon. We're in studios, we just got in. We are heading over to Central Park for the stay and scream area. So there's different areas in the park where when you're in the park, you can stay. And then around 5.30, they open up the houses for you to walk right in so you can meet the line. So I'm gonna go to the weekend and the Monsters Legends Collide House. I think those will be the two longest lines of the night, no question. So we're gonna head to those. The last look at a scare zone with no scare actors. And we'll be back when they're loaded. So good. All right, after a few minutes, we have officially made it into the Stay and Scream area for the weekend house. I'm so excited to kick off with this house. It's gonna be so good. I mean, the atmosphere already, there's so many people here in the park already. So this is gonna be a good, good time. However, the weather doesn't seem to be on our side. It looks like it's gonna rain. And I saw a 100% chance of thunderstorms earlier. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But for now, we made it. That's all that counts, right? Well, they messed it up. This is a weekend, but we're going through Descendants, I guess. So let's do it. It's getting in now. I'm about to go for a house. Now I'm terrified. Yes. <laughs> I'm scared. Let's let's do this. I'm gonna cry. Let's go. There we go. First house done. Descendants of Destruction. The first house I always go through every HHN always scares me way more than I'm gonna get scared for the rest of the year. It's a reminder. And this one did exactly that. The sets though were so good. This is where Puppet Theater was last year. So the sets were fantastic. There's, an, I'm looking at, I'm like, where do they fit this in this tent? The scares were pretty good. There's a, I got attacked a lot, so I really enjoyed it. But there were a couple that I feel like no matter what are always gonna get me. 
There's an overhead scare. That was really good. And the costumes in this house are really well done. I really wasn't expecting a lot from it, but it really is a really good house. The rain is starting to come down. I can feel it now. Hopefully that doesn't interrupt the night, but overall, very impressed with the sentence. I literally didn't even have to say like, they told me like, oh, you finished so much. Oh, there you go. Just go enjoy your life. Yes. I just wanted to do this. I'm not ready. Let's just... I'll go by down. A few moments later. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Even as a house, like, minus my fear, it really wasn't that good. But man, that, no. It, okay, I'll say this. The Sith, there are, you feel like things are touching you everywhere. There's dark hallways. It is terrifying. There's, like, worms that come out of the walls. The costumes are terrifying. I'll say this. The costumes are great. The sets are okay. I don't know. Like, okay, taking away my fear, it was okay. I like Descendants more. But still, it was it was okay. But man, that was terrifying. Like, you have anything towards bugs? No, that's terrifying. Here we go. Uh, Legends collide. Oh my god. Legends collide. That. Oh my god. That was amazing. That was amazing. I love. I love the monsters so much, and I, I like I have a bias because I know people in that house, and they were so good. But oh my gosh, that was amazing! Like the scares in there, I, I love the mummy. There's so much mummy there. My only complaint about it, there's only one Dracula scare. I wish there was more, but other than that, phenomenal. It was really long too, really long. So good. That was amazing. That was oh my gosh. I'll, I'll it'll be hard to top that one. So this is the cube for Hellblock, I guess. I've never seen this before. I don't know, I'm annoyed to like the bulb in a house, but whatever. What the heck? Why was that so good? Hellblock 4 surpassed expectations. That old house, the sets were really well done. It was long. The, the stairs were really good. You could totally reuse some costumes, but man, that was actually really impressive. I genuinely enjoyed that a lot. That was great. Now I'm going to hit up Yesterday Chupacabra. Let's, I'm excited for this one. I heard a lot of good things. Let's do it. Yesterday Chupacabra. That one was really good. The scares were not the best. The Chupacabra part was really good, but most of these people masked. They didn't do much, but the sets in there, that might be the best set house so far. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. That lived up. To every expectation I had. Best house this year. Oh my god, that was so good. The scares were like legitimately good. The songs were amazing. The sets were spot on. That was just amazing. Oh my gosh, that was so good. Halloween was perfect. Oh my gosh. The Oh my, I love Michael Myers, and I love the movie. And they got all the perfect sets from the movie. Every set was done perfectly. Everything was iconic. The costumes were great. The scares were even pretty good. The there's like a, the giant house we saw in the middle is just beautiful. It's so good. Every house this year is just surprising. I'm obsessed with this year. Surprising. Dead Man's Wharf was phenomenal. The sets were so beautiful. The scares were good. Every set, it's just like every time I walked in, like, like every scene was phenomenal. That was so cool. For, like it didn't have to be that good. That probably was the best of the night. No question. That was amazing. But All right, and Spirits of the Coven, that's gonna end the night. It's a decent house, uh, probably my least favorite today, being honest, so. The scares are pretty weak, sets are cool. The theming is confusing, um, and it felt way too long. For like the, for it to use that soundstage, I feel like was the wrong decision, but it was still a good house. I mean, every house this year has been phenomenal. 
Unfortunately, I did miss out on Blumhouse, but uh, we'll just cut to my review on that ne the next day. Did you guys go to the party? Yeah. Okay, why are people destroying that house? That was amazing. Freaky was really good, and I mean, the scenes were just like the movie, it was phenomenal. But then, Black Phone. I love that movie. And they recreated it perfectly. It was so long, the scares were so good. It was, it's not my favorite, but it's top three without a doubt. That was one of the Best houses. Oh my gosh, that was so good. Well, we're back in the hotel room. This is the most exhausted I've ever been in a year. But this uh, this was phenomenal. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys later. And don't forget, follow the thrill. I'm going to go take the fattest, I guess, nap. Because I have to wake up early in my life. So bye, guys.